Hi guys, Jessica here. Um, sorry for the look. I've been moving furniture all day. I got a new TV. I don't know if you can see. And um, just been doing a lot of stuff um, in my apartment, which I'm really excited about. So, in that time period, I've only had time to read one book, which is the fourth book in the Soul Screamer series, My Soul to Steal by Rachel Vincent. And this continues to tell the story of Kaylee Cavanaugh and Nash. I can't remember his last name right now. Um, if you don't know anything about the Soul Screamer series, you can purchase the first bind up of the first three books um, for, I think it's like $7.99. It's a fabulous read. It's very unique in terms of young adult fiction and tells the story of a girl that um, is a soul screamer. She's a, um, I don't know how to say, a bit of Savari or something. Pretty much it means that she can sense when somebody will die. And she senses it inside. She doesn't know who it is. But she screamed. It's a scream um, because she knows it's going to happen and she can't hold the scream in. And um, she goes through this whole process of learning about what she is and um, just learning how to deal with it and twists and turns and all kinds of stuff. So this was the fourth book. This is by Harlequin Teen and um, purchased, I mean, um, Written in, or published in 2011. Sorry, I'm like tongue-tied right now. And um, the back just tells you she's trying to work things out with Nash, her maybe boyfriend. She can't just pretend nothing happened, but Complicate doesn't even begin to describe their relationship when his ex-girlfriend transferred to their school, determined to take him back. C. Sabine isn't just an ordinary girl. She's a Mara, the living personification of a nightmare. She can read people's fears and craft them into nightmares while her victims sleep. Feeding from human fear is how she survives. And Sabine isn't above scaring Kaylee and the entire school to death to get whatever and whoever she wants. So if that doesn't make you want to read this series, I don't know what it is, what will. But um, this is just awesome. And isn't a cover cool? So if you want to read something different that isn't vampires, that isn't werewolves, that isn't love, that isn't angels, that isn't shapeshifters, anything like that. If you want to read something different and kind of creepy, um, definitely check out the Soul Screamer series, okay? And I just want to show you I got Vampire Diaries Season 1 in. So now I have Season 1 and Season 2. I got both of them for eleven fifty each, so it was $23 for both, which is crazy. Because if I would have bought that in the store, I probably would have spent $100, $110, $20. Um, so I'm really excited. I might start watching that today because now I have my nice new TV, 42 inch. <laughs> I'm really excited. I just don't have furniture because I moved the other furniture. Um, I had a futon that I moved. Um, I'm actually at my desk. You could see there's no kitchen cabinets behind me anymore because I was, I've was i been moving things and I'm trying to sit at my desk instead of the kitchen. And... Um, I moved the futon and I brought something else to the dumpster and it's just been crazy. As you could tell, I have like I haven't been sleeping because see bags under my eyes. I get excited when new things are coming and then I can't sleep. Like especially like furniture. This was my first big, uh, you know, big girl furniture set that I bought. I, you know, when you first move out and when you're younger, people give you things and. You know, I got the futon, which was kind of new, I guess. But this is a set, and it matches, and it's nice. So maybe I'll show, like, a, a house tour at some point if you guys are interested in that. Some people wanted to see my room and just, like, kind of where I read and, and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do that. But I'm really excited to watch The Vampire Diaries. Um, I've watched an episode or two here and there with my friends that are obsessed with it, and they haven't read the books. So I said, you might feel a little bit differently if you have read the books. Um, so I hope I'm not disappointed um, in the overall. Um, I know, you know, I've watched parts of season two, so um, I do kind of know certain things that happen and whatever, but uh, we'll see how it is. This says that this is 22 episodes, and I think the other one's 25. So lots to watch. So I will check back in with you guys soon. I'm going to be starting Two Truths and a Lie, which is the third book in the Lion Game series by Sarah Shepard. I'm going to start that today. And hopefully I probably have a review for you maybe tomorrow because, you know, I read those fast. So I hope you guys have a great day. Happy reading. Um, you know, stay blessed. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.